Hello, welcome back to the vlog. I feel like I could probably fall asleep standing here talking to you, but that's okay. It's been a good week anyway. It hasn't been a bad week, it's just been very busy. I was gonna continue being very busy. And if you're watching these vlogs in sequence, you might have noticed that I actually ended the last vlog right here and started the new vlog right here. I literally didn't move the camera. <laughs> but I am filming two weeks in a row, which is a lot better than waiting six weeks, right? Right. Um, anyway, so today is September the 13th, Wednesday. I already ate some food, of course, and then turned the camera on, so now I'm really, like, paranoid and that stuff in my teeth. But I just got home and went and sat outside for a few minutes in the sun so the dogs could play and I could get a little bit of vitamin D because I find that just everybody is happier if we spend some time outside. Um, but anyway, today, so I told you it was, it's really busy. I've got a couple things going on. Number one is that my choir is singing for the Jewish High Holy Days. Um, so we started those last weekend on Saturday with Selichot and then this weekend is Rosh Hashanah, Friday night and Saturday morning. So there's like a Friday night service, Saturday morning service. And then we have, you know, like rehearsals in between. So I've got that going on. And then, so that's like, you know, ramp something gets a lot going on. And then on top of that, I have um, this week, the art teacher is about to have a baby. And so we were planning a baby shower. It was for today. So like, I've been, you know, busting my butt trying to get everything done and getting all these decorations and making things. And last night it was up until like 11 o'clock, which for me is like really, really late. Um, and make like baking and making cake pops and all these things that I really wish I'd filmed because it would have made really good video, but I didn't do that. Um, and get to school this morning. <laughs> And she called out this morning because she wasn't feeling good and it's a surprise shower so she didn't know about it. So that, that was great. But the bright side is that now I feel like I have a free afternoon because I wasn't expecting to have this afternoon free. And I might have time to finish the gift I was making her. I got her something off of her registry and then I grabbed um, like some books. But I wanted to make her something and so I wanted to, I, I'm like not even close to finishing it. But if I have today tomorrow, might be able to do that. So we shall see how that goes. Um, and yeah, so today since I now have a like free evening, I'm gonna first of all go make some coffee so I don't fall asleep. It was like two nights of being up late, just like one Monday night, sa Sunday night, I didn't go to bed very, oh, I, I stayed up on Sunday night too. Sunday night I stayed up late, finishing some products that I need to post today. And then Monday night I stayed up late because I had choir rehearsal and then I came home and I was like, I just really need a bath um, after choir rehearsal, so it was late. And then last night I was up late baking stuff. And like none of those things are bad things, like they were all great, they were all things I wanted to do, but the result is that I am tired. So coffee first um then i think i'm gonna go play piano for a few minutes because i want to practice piano and i also want to practice my um some of the newer things for the services this weekend because i specifically i'm spurred to do this i, I want to do that anyway but i'm extra spurred today because i was listening to a podcast this morning on the way to school and i don't even remember who was on it but she was talking about in like doing better in your career and she was saying that her suggestion to people is to do 90 minutes a week of a skill that's going to help you further your career whether that's like watching a video or learning a new skill or like whatever so that averages out to 13 minutes a day i'm not going to play piano every day but i think that's going to be my new goal is 90 minutes a week because that just sounds really doable and being like, you just gotta do like 13 minutes a day. It sounds really easy. So we'll see how that goes. It's already halfway through this week, so this week probably not. But that's gonna be what I'm shooting for from now on. Although not if it's gonna stress me out. Especially because it's September, and my main goal with piano this year was I really wanted to be able to play Christmas songs. So I'm like, we're, we're getting close, so I need to, you know, ramp it up and do that. So, there. And then I think I'm going to really quickly take some product photos of the product I finished on Sunday because it's seasonal, so I want to get it out really quick. I don't normally do like one product photo of one thing. I usually wait until I have a couple, but I'm just going to do the one because I have it and I, wish, I just want to get it up. And then we're going to go sew quilt, see how far we can get on the quilt for the baby shower. Hopefully pretty far, we shall see. Um, and then we'll have dinner. And then after dinner, I need to 
post that product hopefully post some products onto other marketplaces fingers crossed and then i would really really like to get back that i probably need to do a video for this channel too that's too much stuff okay we're just gonna see which of those things end up getting done is there like a spot on my face maybe it's how my face is shaped I keep thinking in the morning that I have like a red spot on my face and I'm seeing it now, but maybe it's like an indent in my face and not a red spot. I don't know. Okay, let's go grab some coffee. I'm supposed to have a really good package today that I'm excited about. It's not Lily, though this is. And I really am loving the color of this dress, so I also need to look up what season this dress is because we are on a mission to figure out the season. I like to go get my colors done, but you know. One step at a time. Also two updates. I keep getting asked how I like my new school. Update. I still like it. <laughs> We're halfway through September. So I've been in school for like, I don't know, six weeks, seven weeks. Um, and I still really like it, which is a good sign. I'm still a little scared to like really commit and be like, yes, I love it. Um, because you know, it's still early, but so far i do really like it i was talking actually twice today i had that specific thought of like i'm so glad that i'm here and not at my old school i don't know why the one of the classes i had last year popped in my head this morning i was like i'm just most of the kids i loved i miss so much like literally there's some that i think of daily there's classes i think of daily in like with so much um i don't even know the word I just miss them so much. Like specific kids, kids that I can think of, classes I can think of. Like most of them are like that, but some of those classes last year, y'all. There's one particular I'm thinking of. I was like, I'm so glad. I'll never have to deal with that class again. Now granted, of course, they're in a different class this year, so like it's not the same, but just, you know, I'll, t I'll take what I can get. Um, and then my old art teacher called me on the way home because I was two cars behind her, like on the way to our houses and so we were just ch chatting and as she was talking i was just like man i'm really i i like her so not her but as she you know was talking about school and stuff i was like i'm really glad i'm not over there anymore so my, that's my encouragement to any of you who are maybe thinking hmm i wonder if there are better schools out there than the one that i am currently at because the answer might be yes and you could you know make things a lot better if you switch just a thought um second update is people ask you know how are the other platforms going and i have those like you know quarterly videos talking about the other platforms like etsy and made by teachers i've just fell over in class and all that um they are not going well <laughs> it has been so slow and it is just it's like it, i was like working on data stuff over the weekend and i was like man this is depressing um it's not good i'm still determined i'm still working on it i'm still adding things i'm still you know like doing the stuff but overall like so far my outlook's not great so we'll see what happens i am determined to finish out the year in particular because on etsy i remember when i started posting my bible stuff on there i posted some stuff and then i didn't post anything for like a year or something and then i started seeing sales so i'm kind of thinking you know etsy i might need to give it time so i'm gonna finish out this year for sure on all the platforms and then i'll evaluate in december and january what my priorities are for next year which could be dropping some could be dropping all could be maybe just doing etsy for a little bit i don't know we'll see so that's the that's the current thought but i was just thinking about that because i was like oh i need to post products on the other platforms because i am determined to fill out my experiment but so far things aren't great so we'll see Hello, happy Thursday. I am 
just home from school. I'm gonna have a really, really healthy snack of cookies. <laughs> Fun fact, I am someone who cannot have treats in the house. If there are cookies in the house, they will be going in my mouth. Like, I just, I just, I just can't, I just can't. I, I don't know how some people like buy things and then don't eat them. I don't get it. I can't do it. Anyway, I'm just home. Yesterday, I finished about half of the things on my to-do list, which is about normal. So, that was great. <laughs> um, I am getting to the point, though, that I am realizing that I only get about half the things done that I want to get done, which is helpful as, like, an earmark to be like, okay, well, I got half the stuff done. So, I got the product post, I got the product photographed and posted onto all the different marketplaces, and I got, that's gonna have to go. I started the quilt, I didn't get very far. I did get something else done. Oh, okay, something else on the list. I don't remember. Then I took a bath and I woke up an hour and a half late this morning. That was great. Because I forgot, I turned my alarms off yesterday. Long story, but I turned my alarms off and then I forgot to turn them back on. So I just got up on the second alarm. So my first alarm went off, turned it off, rolled over because I always get up on the second one. So usually I just kind of basically like lay there and think about the day and think about kind of like what I'm excited for and that kind of stuff. And then like I just can't go from like dead asleep to up and at them. And then I was just waiting for the second alarm to go off and I'm gonna swallow back to sleep because I woke up an hour and a half later. So the good news is that like, I still had plenty of time to go to school because I wake up stupidly early. The bad news was that I did not work out or do work. And now I'm eating cookies, which is probably not the best, best decision since I didn't work out this morning, but here we are. Um, now, even though that was really frustrating, we're not winning. Even though it was really frustrating, I didn't get like, you know, my stuff done this morning, my routine situated. Um, I woke up feeling like a whole new human. I felt so much better. Like Wednesday, I was like, I am dead. I'm exhausted, I'm so tired. This morning, I felt so much better. Even now, I feel so much better. So it wasn't a total, total loss. Um, tonight's plan is right now I'm going to film some videos after I fix my face and my hair um, and potentially change my clothes. I was thinking I might want to wear the dress that I wore yesterday in yesterday's video because it was a really really cute um, and then I'm doing one that is a Halloween like kind of video so I wanted to change for that one specific into something more like Halloweenish. ish um, so I might wear the dress tomorrow I might wear this we'll see and then We'll have dinner, we're having pork tenderloin tonight, and then I think my plan is to go up after dinner and work on the quilt because I was thinking through it and you know, it's not actually that much effort. So I would love to be able to finish it by tomorrow, which is when the baby shower is. Okay. This is the plan. So, that's where we are. Also, I had someone buy a Valentine's Day bundle today. So that was weird. Interesting. I always feel kind of weird when people do that. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm teaching next week. And you just bought something for February. Here we are. This, by the way, is an onion. I have this onion that sat here for a long time and then it sprouted. And now I don't want to get rid of it because it's like a whole plant. You know, my onion. I said maybe I should plant it. How do you plant an onion? Where do they grow well? Okay. I mean, like, Vidalia has onions. They're pretty close to us. So they're like a special kind of onion. I don't know. Oh, no. Now it won't stand up. I broke it. So I'm going to have to figure out that situation. I'm going to have some cookies. I'm going to have some coffee i'm gonna fix my face and i'm gonna go and do some videos and i gotta get nyla to stop making noise which is the hardest part of filming in case you're wondering okay see you on the other side mm -hmm. decided to go with the yellow um and then 
got some stuff outlined doing take two on my first episode of book club um i really have always wanted to do like books videos about books and so i think i found a way to make that happen um and i actually filmed that one last week and i never refilm anything but i was so unhappy with it i was like we just, we just gotta refill it it was just not gonna work out so let's do Just over here quilting at five o'clock in the morning because I've officially turned into my mother. Um, but <laughs> that's not a bad thing, actually. I have a really great mom. Um, all done. Worked out pretty well. Went a lot faster than I was expecting, which was great. I kind of wish I'd picked something other than this gray. I don't really like the gray. I wish I'd gone with something like that matched this fabric a little bit better. But by the time I realized that, it was too late. So here we are, a little space-themed baby quilt ready to head on out the back these are stars they kind of look like polka dots on the screen these are stars and these are stars for a space theme nursery all right let me go get dressed hello hello happy friday i would like nothing more than to go take a bath and then go lay on the couch for the rest of the night but that's not happening <laughs> um because i am actually about to head out to sing for rosh hashanah so happy new year um which i really actually so i mentioned my choir sings for the jewish high holy days okay so i actually really enjoy it i love folk music in general and i just find it really interesting and i love like just all of it i just love it um like I'm, I'm very into all of all of the things, but I really enjoy it. But also, like it's just such a huge time suck. It's gonna be like hours and hours tonight, and then hours and hours tomorrow. And you know we have to get there early because we sing. And like tomorrow there's two services, and it's just a lot. Um, so I enjoy it, but it's a lot. And normally we usually split it up so that not everyone is going to all of the services but um we currently only have two altos in the choir uh, so we are both going to every service that we possibly can so like, there's one that i know for sure cannot go to because it's you know on a monday morning and i have work on monday morning and i you know just missed an entire week for covid so i really need to be at work um so she's gonna be on her own that day i'm sure there's gonna be at least one day that she won't be there and it'll be just me but um versus like normally there's you know four or five six of us and so we can like split them up a little bit more evenly so that's nice um so this year especially with that it's a lot also, also they're doing some of the services twice they last year they did all the services twice or most of the services twice this year they're doing just the main like the two biggest ones just because they said their their congregations grown so much before it was covid but now they said their congregations grown so much so they weren't gonna stay for two services. So, so anyway i don't mean to complain because i'm happy to do it but whew, it's rough after teaching all day but the baby shower went very well. It's another reason I feel like I've like released all of this stuff because I did a lot, which is a little bit extra funny when you realize that I've only been there for seven weeks. Um, but it just, you know, I, I love a good theme. I love being crafty. And so I was just very excited. So I made, I'll pop some pictures up here, but I made like, I, yeah, I wrapped up my, um, milk crates to look like blocks that spelled out the kid's name and I made like banners for the photo booth and I made a rocket ship to hold the chocolate chip Oreos that had little eyes on them so they looked like the aliens and you know like all that kind of stuff and I just happened to have tablecloths in my room so I was like oh we can use my tablecloths because they match and I just happened to have a bunch of Toy Story mugs. So I, you know, brought those. And it was just a lot of that kind of stuff. Like, oh, I just happened to have this. Oh, I just happened to have that. Um, yeah. So, like, I made 
cake pops that looked like little aliens. And then, you know, I had to make a little cardboard claw that was covered in aluminum foil so it was shiny because, you know, it had to go next to the aliens. Did I mention it was a Toy Story theme party? If I didn't say that, that's probably really confusing. Um, but it was, it, and it was so cute and I'm really glad we did all that. But um, yeah, it was also really, really stressful because I have afternoon duty with the art teacher who was the one the shower was for. And so it kind of fell to me to be the one to like stall her because it was after school and it was a surprise. She, she had no idea, which was great. But, oh my gosh. And she like barely left her room all year. She was in the media center three times today. We were like, so we ended up doing it. We we're gonna do it just in the media center and we decided to do it in like a classroom off of the media center, which was a good idea. Because legit, three times today, she came in and like almost walked in on us. Like literally one time we turned out the lights and like shut and locked the door. And we're like in the dark. I was like, how am I gonna get out of here to get to class? It was, it was quite a thing. And we had to stall her at the end of the day. Um, and it was, you know, there's always, oh, there's one child who gets picked up late every single day. And today he got picked up early. So we got done with walkers early. And she's like, should we, you know, go back to our classroom? <laughs> I was like, no, the theater teacher wanted to talk to us about some stuff. She's like, okay, we'll go make some coffee. I was like, okay, let's go make some coffee. It was just a whole, it was a whole thing. Um, she was shocked though, and it was so cute. Um, it was, it was a good time. Um, it was really short because it was Friday afternoon, so everyone was going just like, all right, I'm gonna eat some food. Okay, here's a picture. Bye. But it was really cute. So, it was all in all good. And I did finish that quilt, so that was good too. Um. I hope she likes it. She didn't open the presents like with everyone there, which is fine. Um, but I'm just like, oh, I hope she likes it. And it's too late now anyway. So, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, all of that to say, I'm going to go upstairs and grab some books because I need something to do like while we're waiting in between stuff, all of that tonight. Um, grab some books and pretty much head out. So, not a lot of TPT content right now. I did film videos yesterday and my video editor texted me and said that he made some progress on videos today. So, we'll have to see um, what he got finished. I haven't uploaded the ones that I did yesterday yet. So, if you want to upload, so. He is on it and he is very excited about it which is great because I do not like editing and he's like I love editing it's so much fun and I'm like okay um I also need to edit a video for this channel because I haven't had one in like two weeks now I'm gonna be at Rosh Hashanah tonight and tomorrow so we'll see when that happens maybe Monday what day is it when does October start it's like the 15th really I feel like October is like right around the corner, which is good and also not good because my birthday's in October. So we like that, we like that. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go, should we go ahead and end this vlog? Probably. We talked something about TBT, so that should be fine. Um, yeah. My mood this week has been, we're doing what we can. That which we cannot do, we're not stressing about. And that has been one thing I will tell you about working ahead of time that has been super helpful because like I was just filming videos that are going out like in a month last night and so if I you know I wanted to film four and I only got three done but none of them are like this week so it's fine and then things like um I finished a Halloween rhythm game and I didn't get it posted for like a week or two but it was fine because I got it up in September and so no, I got it up in August, even better. I got it up in August, and so it was like, it didn't even really matter that it, you know, waited so long because I was so early. And so I've been really finding freedom in getting things done early. So I'm trying to really keep ahead of things, um, especially with products and just all of that and not doing things last minute. I say, even though I didn't, write any emails because I was sewing this morning, but it's fine. I'll do them on Sunday, last minute, but it'll be fine. <sighs> so, you know, there's a balance. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go. Happy Rosh Hashanah. It won't be Rosh Hashanah when you see this, but you know, whatever. Okay, bye.